Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Charlotte Tilbury Look of Love Instant Look in a Palette palettes. <laughs> so if you want to see both of them compared, my thoughts, all that good stuff, then just keep watching. Hey guys, editing Morgan here. So I forgot to plug in my microphone. Well, I didn't forget. I plugged it into the wrong hole. So you're going to hear a throughout the entire video. Um, my B, I made it on them, so yeah, but I wasn't gonna refilm the entire video, so just like, ignore it. Thank you, enjoy the video. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Today we are focusing on Charlotte Tilbury's newest release. So she just came out with her Look of Love collection. So in the collection, she came out with two new instant look in a palette. She also is re-promoting some lipsticks. There was like a wedding theme lipstick launch that happened a while back and I picked up all three of these. They are being re-promoted in this launch with new gorgeous diamondy packaging. It's going to be different than what you see in my hand right now, but the colors are the same. She also is re-promoting her tinted love, tinted lip and blush things. I've never tried those. I heard they weren't worth it, so I really wasn't interested in trying this time. The main focus on today's video is going to be on the instant looks in a palette, so if you want to see both of these, let's get into it. Now, we'll start off with the packaging. Both are going to come in this really cute pink box. Now the details of these palettes are that they are both made in Italy with a 30 month shelf life. Now I previously had only ever owned one of these instant looks in a palette. I got it over holidays. She came out with the stone rose. So this is really all I have for experience as far as these particular palettes. Now you guys know across the board, I have a lot of her other formulas, just not the instant look in a palette. So to be honest, I was never really uh, attracted to them before. And then I bought that one over holiday and I've been obsessed ever since. I just love how easy it is, how quickly you can get a look pulled together with them. So when I saw these two coming out, I was super pumped. There are two. There is a lighter version and a deeper version. I do think though, kind of looking at them, we could use a third palette, which is even deeper. Here is what the lighter one is going to look like. This is called Pretty Blushed Beauty. Really, really stunning. You can see quite light. And then the other one that we have, which is a deeper one, is called glowing beauty. So here they are side by side just so that you can see the difference in how they look. Now as far as the layout of these, they are the same pan size wise of what you're going to find in her previous palettes. Now what's new about these is she actually put in her airbrush flawless finishing powder which is really great because that is one of her most popular formulas and it really actually completes this whole palette as far as being able to get a full look obviously minus liquid products, foundation, etc. But as far as power products on the whole face, you have everything you need now because of this addition right here. Now, I'm not sure if this has ever changed, but I did notice the highlight was really big here, which really isn't that necessary. So I really like that she put the face powder here and she took away the two blush colors. I really like the layout of this one and it actually makes it a more functional palette as well for truly getting an instant look in a palette and it's a great way to be able to cheat and try a bunch of different Charlotte Tilbury formulas in one. These are pricey when you purchase them. They are $75 but if we're talking a mixture of her eyeshadow formulas, her blush formula, her bronzer, her highlights, and her super famous powder. I think it's a really great deal just to kind of sample all of her different formulas. Now, if you do want to see how these compare next to each other, when I demo the second palette, I'll do the actual comparisons of the two colors. But for now, we're going to take a deeper dive into the Pretty Blush Beauty, which is going to be the lighter one. It's definitely a little bit more cool toned. Here are the swatches. So you get three eyeshadows, one highlight, one cheek color, one bronzer, and then of course one powder. Now the textures are you get a glittery shade for the eyeshadow, a satiny shimmer shade, and then a matte shade. And of course don't ever feel limited when you get these palettes to just use them where you're supposed to use them or where she says you're supposed to use them. You can put them wherever you want and it's just so versatile and if you aren't sure what kind of look to create, you have them laid out for you. They have the number on here and they even have the numbers on the back now if I didn't cover the packaging I think I forgot that let me show you this actually does have a plastic thing 
So we're gonna make her look nice and clean. So this is different packaging than the previous palette. As you can see, it was like her giant eyeshadow quad packaging. So really, really big. As you can see, this one is so much more luxe. It's a heart and then even the label is a cute little heart. And then of course you have the directions of where they suggest to put all of the colors. The other palette is also the exact same packaging. So we're gonna get into application here. Now I have used both of these palettes before. I was playing around earlier today. So I definitely have collected my thoughts on the formulas and all of that good stuff. So we're gonna start off with actually the face powder. I'm gonna break the rules already. In the Pretty Blushed Beauty right here, we have the Airbrush Floss Finish Powder. She says this is in the shade Fair slash Medium. Only slightly lighter than the shade that they have in the other palettes. But anyways, we're just going to set the face because I did not set my face. I only have foundation, concealer, and my eyebrows on. And you can see the magic that is this powder. Now for it being the lighter palette, I wish this color was just a tad lighter because it's perfect for setting my face, but it doesn't brighten my face. And normally I like to apply a brightening color right underneath the eyes and in the area that I did. So where I applied this powder, I would prefer it to be lighter, especially since it's the lighter palette, but whatever, that's me being very picky. It seems to be the same exact great formula that we all know and love from that powder. Now let's just start off with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to again bend the rules and we're going to start off with the smoke shade first which is number three. When I did the look earlier I did follow the steps in the actual palette so I'm feeling ready to bend the rules a bit and you can see that this smoke shade it's given me some definition right here so I think you know this palette will work for somebody with a medium complexion definitely not deeper and it's still going to be a lighter look on you but you can see that that shade it's very buildable but it's also very blendable as well so it definitely will cater to your needs and you can see this formula is just incredible the colors you know they aren't the most unique but the formulas that's where charlotte has it as far as comparisons between these guys and what else is in her line i didn't feel the need to compare because this is a different concept this is about versatility this is about having a bunch of Charlotte favorites all in one palette and you know what to be quite frank Charlotte never comes out with really unique color stories it's not about that with her it's about the formulation wearability and just being able to quickly throw on a beautiful glam look and yes these colors are most definitely dupable I can tell you that now and probably yes within her own line but it's about having all in one in this palette if that makes sense and if you missed it I used the enhanced shade I put that all over my lid. You can see it's nothing really special. It's kind of a subtle shade, but it's really, really pretty. And we're going to finish off with this glittery shade right here. Super pretty, really creamy. This is a stunning all over lid color. I used this as the base color earlier today and it was so pretty, you guys. It opened up my eyes. I love this shade. So as far as the three eyeshadow shades here, there are no complaints on my end. I think they are absolutely stunning you get almost more of a cool tone look this shade looks a little bit champagne -y pink it doesn't pull that way on the eyelid but it's really stunning let's move on to the bronzer now this says online that this is her film star bronzer in light medium which i do have actually so if you have this you have both the bronzer and the highlighter that is in this palette but you know what that really doesn't bother me even though i do have this and this is a pretty penny by the way i love the fact that you can get that in this little palette i know i always talk about travel palettes but truly, this is one of the best travel palettes that you can get if you're not doing anything crazy with your look. And not even just for travel. This is great, you know, for work, for throwing on in the morning if you just don't have time to think about a look for moms. Just so easy to use. And even though I do already have both the bronzer and the highlighter in here, I am not bothered by that just because I like that I have all this other stuff. I'm going to actually be more inclined to reach for this because it's all here than I am to reach for the big guy. Maybe that might turn you off, but for me, it makes me like this palette more. And there's such versatile, usable colors that I reach for all the time that it's okay. All right, we're gonna use the cheek shade 
It's this beautiful springy kind of pink. I really, really love it. And it blends out so nice. It almost has a really nice light natural sheen. Very stunning. And then we're going to finish off with the highlighter right here. And again, it's going to be the same one that's in the light medium film star bronze. And it's really beautiful. Just a really nice everyday light highlight. You see, it was just so quick, even with me talking, to create this look. Now we're going to move into the deeper palette, which isn't that deep, but it's deeper. This is the Glowing Beauty, and I'll do some swatch comparisons as overlays, just so you can see how the colors differ from one palette to the other, if you're kind of in between and you aren't sure which one to get. We're going to start off with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder. She says this is medium slash deep. Honestly, it is not much deeper than the first palette. I did a side by side and this is like a quarter shade deeper. It really was hard to tell. So this shade, it works for me. It's not brightening by any means, but it works for me. It works as a setting powder in particular. It will definitely brighten if you have more of a medium complexion, medium to deep. It's not deep enough if this is really supposed to be for medium to deep skin tones. You know what I'm saying? Let's go into the eyes now. I'm going to kind of follow suit of what I just did, but there are some differences between this palette and the lighter one, but I'm going to start off with that smoke shade. You can see very, very pigmented here. This shade is definitely more warm than in the lighter palette. It has a stronger warm rose tone to it, whereas I'd argue the lighter shade is almost more cool. The palette in general gives you definitely a more cool look, and you can see again she blends out so pretty. Okay, we're going to go into the Brighten shade. And I'm actually going to compare this to the middle shade of the lighter one, which is the Enhance, because they are more similar. This one is a little bit brighter than the one in the lighter palette, but they have a similar finish, which is why I'm comparing them. This one has a little bit more of a peachiness to it as well, as you can see. So I actually really like this shade because I love how light and peachy it is. I think it's really fun for the summer. I absolutely love this shade. I think it's gorgeous. And then we're gonna finish up with the Enhanced shade. So this is another glittery one, like one that was in the lighter one, but this is a different formula. This one feels a lot like her old school pop formula in that you can get hard pan on it and it gives you a um, not very pigmented base. You can add that pop effect. I like the formula in the light shade much, much better. It has more of a pigmented base. It's a little bit creamier. This one, you just, it's a pop. It's okay, but it's not my favorite formula. I thought we got past this formula from Charlotte because I've never really been a big fan. So I'm like, mm, to kind of see that it's back. So I'm not a big fan of this shade, but if you like those old school pop shades from her, you might really like this. Let's go into the bronzer. Now the bronzer is from the medium deep film star duo, the highlighter as well. So if you have the deeper duo of this, then you have these two shades and I can make them work for me, but they're definitely not made for me. So I'm using a really light hand, but you can instantly see I have a more sculpted look <laughs> over here. So it's definitely not made for my skin tone. I prefer the colors of the other palette. That palette is definitely better suited towards my skin tone, but nonetheless, I can make it work. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like for me, of course, it's a good thing because I didn't completely waste my money. But, you know, if you're advertising a palette from medium to deep skin tone, it works a little bit too good for me. Beautiful formula, but we all know that. And let's do the blush shade now. Now this one's a little bit more deep, a bit more rosy and pigmented. So I'm going to use a lighter hand to apply this because I went a little bit too ham with this shade earlier today and it just had applied way too much pigment for me because I'm so light. But it's really beautiful. You can see it has a little bit more rosiness to it. It's just a little bit more rich as it should be, of course. Uh, I still prefer the blush in the lighter palette, but this one's a little bit more evening. Like if it was evening and I'm going out for dinner or something, I'd reach for this blush over the other blush, but... If it's daytime, then I'd reach for the lighter blush because I think it freshens up my face a bit more. So here is the difference between the two blushes. This one is obviously more noticeable and I don't favor this highlight because 
you know, it's too dark on me. This one leaves a cast. The other highlight is for my skin tone. This one is not. So this is definitely very well suited for medium skin tones. I'm actually contemplating giving this to my mom because I think this will fit her better than it fits me. Just because the face colors, they don't work amazing for me. As you can see, I can make them work. That's not a problem. But the other palette is definitely better for me. But this one still looks really nice though. It's like, this is a nice daytime everyday look. This one is a nice evening daytime kind of look. So it depends, you know? I'm gonna put on liner and lashes, but as you can see, the takeaways from the differences for these palettes, this one's more cool toned. This one has a little bit more peachiness. Definitely more suitable for medium skin tones, I would say. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back and we'll kind of talk about my final thoughts on this. I'm gonna quickly throw on a lipstick, but first, this is the Isam Plum Lip Pencil. I'm using the lighter of the two shades. And like I mentioned previously, Charlotte is re-promoting her little, little wedding lipstick collection that came out a few months ago in this. So I did want to show you those three shades because I do have them already. This is First Dance, this is Mrs. Kisses, and this is Wedding Bells in case you were interested. I'm gonna put on First Dance because it's a nice mixture of rosy and peachiness which I feel like would go with both of the looks on my eyeballs. I changed my mind, we're going with Wedding Bells. guys. I'm I'm going out in public with my eyes like this. I don't care. I'm gonna grab some dinner. But you know, they aren't wildly different. Like I don't think somebody would notice that much. Anyways, let me back up. All right, you guys. So here you are able to take kind of a step back at both of the looks that I created. Let's go over my final thoughts. And I absolutely love these palettes and I highly recommend them. In fact, of all the ones I've seen, I recommend one of these because I just love the array of formulas in particular in these. I think it's a big deal to have one of her best selling formulas and the bronzer and highlight are both a very underrated formula from the Charlotte Tilbury line. I use this all the time in my regular routine and having the rest of the formulas are also really nice but, but there are some staple Charlotte Tilbury products of mine in this palette and even though I already own what's in the palette I don't mind because it's in this format and it's in such an easier way to grab such an easier way to create a look and I'm thinking I'm going on vacation for the first time in a while in July and I'm really excited because I feel like I want to bring this because I don't have to pack much else besides this and that thought really excites me because this has so many different things and with both palettes not just this one in particular this is one that I'm holding up you can still create a lot of different looks you can put this in the crease you can put this on the lid you can create a pinky look with this and then put this on the lid like this in the crease this on the lid Oh my goodness, like I just came up with something great. So you have a lot of versatility within this palette as well. Obviously the deeper one as well, you can kind of do the same look for the rosy look, put this all over the eyelid. As far as what I would recommend one over the other, if you're around my skin tone, I do personally prefer the Pretty Blushed Beauty. The face colors are better suited towards my skin tone to begin with, and I like that this palette is a little bit more cool toned. And if you have a medium complexion, the face products are definitely gonna fit you better in the deeper one as well, but they really aren't that much different. If I'm being completely honest, they're definitely Definitely needs to be something deeper because this palette still worked pretty well given the circumstances like if this palette had come out on its own I definitely would have said oh yeah I mean it's a bit deep for me but it's still workable I still would have liked it very much so if you are maybe just a little bit deeper than me or you're right in between the two palettes you really aren't sure i personally like the color story of this one better i think it works for me better but you can always play it safe and get the deeper one because you know that this one will work for you if that makes sense but i really like these these are my favorite instant looks in a palette to ever come out you know if you are looking to get into charlotte tilbury this is a great way to do it maybe you don't have a lot of her products and you've been wanting to try her out of course $75 hurts but you get this is super expensive on its own this is expensive on its own and then you get some other great formulas to try as well now these aren't I wouldn't say that these are the same exact formula as her quads I feel like her quads are a little bit different like just a little bit these seem to be a little bit more wash-like. They aren't quite as pigmented as the quads, but nonetheless, they're 
fabulous. Great formula. I'm really excited about these. I think Charlotte did a great job with these and I do recommend them. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.